You know, this is going to be just a little bit of an update video on multiple things that have been going on here for the last two weeks and haven't got a chance to update on, been waiting for different things, but I got this ordered yesterday, these brackets. I kind of thought I would have them today because they, I ordered them in the morning, they sent me an email, they've been shipped. I don't know, like I say, I figured they might be here today, but they're not. Not surprising, but like I said, I gotta want to get that taken care of before I head down to Crawford County to my ground down there. Because bouncing on the road ain't gonna do that no good. But I got them coming. And then uh, the other thing I did yesterday, went down to my cousin's and got that ground fitted up. It's ready to plant. I wasn't going to get down there today to plant it because they had rain in the forecast and sure enough we didn't get a whole hell of a lot. I got to get a rain gauge but we didn't get, well what we got soaked in fast put it that way. We we're, were getting pretty dry here. And then the other day I got this plowed and this was a miserable job. This was harder than hell and uh, this is where I had silo bags for a couple years. This is all rutted mess. I monkeyed around here for two days cleaning up the plastic and smoothing this out somewhat. And like I said, no, I knew no matter what I was going to do, this was going to plow up anywhere decent. I wanted to come out here today to get this disc up. At least disc it over twice, knock these humps down. Because it's all sawed here, sawed down there. This is going to disc up nice because there's no grass was in this. I, I mean, I know more got the tractor started. I was warming up, and that's when the rain came. So, but that might be a good thing too. I mean, for my rain we got, it ain't gonna take much of this dry out. And it might be actually better with them furrows up and uh, bigger gaps in there. It'll air out faster. So that might have turned out better. I still got one more piece. I gotta get worked up. I really don't want to plow it. I'm hoping I can just disc it up and then go in there and plant it. It was sorghum sedan grass last year and it shouldn't disc up too bad. I went in there once already and I couldn't get the discs to go in the ground. So I might try that again tomorrow. And if worse comes to worse, I'll go up there and plow it. But we actually needed this rain. I mean, as hard as that plowed, that was gonna, wasn't gonna plow much easier up there where the discs were going in. And then I do have one more strip over on another neighbor's. I really don't care how much corn I get in there. I just gotta get something worked up over there and plant the corn. The deal I have with them is I can use the ground over there. As long as what I'm not using, I keep brush hog down for him. And he wants some corn over there for the deer. So if I can get enough ground worked up over there where I can make one or two passes of the corn planter and try to get him some corn for the deer, it'll be that way. See, last year I couldn't get over there. I went over the planter. I ran through it with the planter. Half a, it was rough ground. I mean, I plowed it the year before, and I just went in there and tried no-tilling it in, and basically didn't get nothing. So I gotta get that done for him too. But and like I say, two weeks ago I had the milk tester out here, and we tested the cows. And I sent silage samples in with her. As of yesterday, I still hadn't got the results back. And I texted her, and I still haven't heard back from her. Yeah, it was yesterday, the day before I did that. So this morning, I called the the lab number, and I really don't understand the problem, but because I didn't see a spot on the form for an email address. I would have put one down, but because they didn't have an email address, they didn't send them out. I don't know why they couldn't mail the hard copy, because they had my mailing address. They emailed me the pregnancy report, but I guess that's a separate computer system and a separate division. They're not merged together, so they couldn't get the... Um, they, so they didn't have the email address to send it to me, I guess. So I gave her the address, they added it to their system, and... It, 10 minutes I had the forage results. So I got them, I forwarded them down to the woman down to the extension office in, Penn, at, in Mercer, 
and she's getting it to one of her colleagues that's a nutritionist and see what they come up with. Yesterday I pulled water samples and got them mailed in. I got confirmation today that the lab received them this morning. So I was surprised I haven't seen the test results back here yet. I kind of thought they would by the end of the day because I am doing the normal water test plus the bacteria test. And the bacteria test, the sample had to be there within 30 hours. So they got that. So I should have them back tomorrow that I can forward them down to her. And now on to what the cows are doing. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, we tested the cows two weeks ago. And I'm really not going to say numbers because they're kind of embarrassing. But I didn't expect them to be that low. But you got to remember the Friday before we trimmed hoofs and the cows were all nerved up from that. And we tested them on Monday. And it's feasible that they were down on milk from that. So, like I say, they were lower than what I thought they were going to be. Well, as of yesterday, what I figured on the tank, they are up 11 pounds from what they were two weeks ago. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly why. Because several things have changed and I'm just trying to figure out which is influencing what. Now one, I went through all these fuse boxes and I found loose connections and in all three of these boxes tightened stuff up, didn't see no corroded wires. So I don't know. If they continue to keep going up at a steady what they are here now or somewhat reasonable I'm going to assume that something was in these boxes. And like the guy that I talked to there three weeks ago from Penn State, if there is something and you, and you might not know, you corrected a problem because that's what the, how the problem can be. You won't know. I mean, there's many wires loose, so it could have been any one of them or all of them. Who knows? That could be part of it. And I think it is part of it. Another thing is I've dried up several cows. And that's going to have a bigger effect on me being the small herd that I am compared to somebody milking 200 cows. Because if I got three cows averaging 50 pounds a day, that's 150 pounds. I dry up one cow that's given 30 pounds. So now I got two cows given 120 pounds. That's a 60 pound average. So one cow on a smaller herd will make a bigger difference then say it would take that 30 pound cow out of that 200 cow herd and you, it's not gonna be that noticeable. I think that's some of it. Another thing is I've had several fresh cows and I've gotten them in the tank and they are actually feel like they have some milk. I mean I actually think they're higher than what the highest cow was on test there. So again if you got a cow that's given more than the average on a smaller herd it's gonna raise that up faster too. And like I said, I think all these are adding up, but like I said, I think there's still something with that wire connections. I think there's a lot of it here yet. Another thing is I got into a different corn bag. Now it's the same corn I fed all winter long. I only got a couple of loads in the end of this bag and then it's going to go back into the corn that I was feeding a month ago. So I don't know if there's a little bit of a change there. And two days ago, I got into my third cutting fescue orchard grass mix. So now I've changed into grass, it's got a little more moisture to it. So like I say, there's several things here that have changed, but this is a big gain, even before when I dry up cows and get fresh cows, I'm not seeing gains like I'm seeing now. And like I say, I think there was something in these wires and I'm not sure if I found it or not. So like I said, that's why I got to keep going here and hopefully keep seeing this increase. And the biggest thing's going to be if I can get something back from a nutritionist and actually get a feed mix. Like I say, I'm not feeding the grain that I should be feeding. So that is a big issue on the production too. But if I can get a feed mix and really start pushing these cows, 
and see again and I'll know we corrected something. So that's the biggest changes here I've seen. Like I said, I'm seeing positive improvements. And we'll see what this next one does. Oh, you don't need to be messing with that. I don't know how they get these things. This is what I used to clean my water out with. Cool. Wind probably blew it or something. And, <clears throat> excuse me. We got this. And it's a bull. Right, buddy? Big calf. I mean, that calf's two days old right now, and I bet he's all of 110 pounds. I mean, that's big for a shorthorn. They normally tend to throw smaller calves. I mean, my sister-in-law used to breed heifers to shorthorn because they were normally a smaller calf. Yeah, bastards. Always somebody got to screw around. And I do not understand. This is one, another one of the neighbor's heifers. I just walk out here and she's got to run. I drive out here with a skid steer. I could run her over. She will not move for the skid steer. I do not understand why she's scared of me and not scared of the skid steer. And you've been causing problems lately too. Oh, what else was there? I thought there was something else I wanted to update about. But yeah, go back on the milk here. They are, tank is up and the cow numbers are down because I just dried up a bunch. And probably not really going to see significance until July because I don't, well, other than that jersey, I don't think I have anybody doing June or the very end of June at the earliest. And I know I got at least two, maybe three more to dry up. So that might be the so like I say I probably will not see biggest improvements if I'm on the right track till July. And I think say I got five or six in July. Yeah, I know. I need to take care of them things. Snort at me, huh? Go get some gel and give you a mohawk. Here you go, big baby. And like I say, if it does, if I can't do nothing tomorrow, then the first next thing I'm gonna do, I never did get back around this fence. Now I gotta go around and cut all the grass off it so I can make sure I got electric in it and get these bastards out. But that's what I wanna do, get all these dry cows. And I think I got two or three to dry or dry treat yet. Just put these out on pasture. Should get the, should like to have the milk cows out there, but I'd rather get the dry cows out, keep the milk cows in here, if nothing else. Just get these out here because it'd be easier to clean the barn. Right now, I gotta keep moving them some side to side and open gates and it's a pain in the butt. But I guess that's it. Let's see, corn planter, got parts coming. I finally got stuff going through the extension office that I've been talking to. Got the lab results back. Supposed to be getting the other ones. I think should have them tomorrow. Because them are going to be emailed. Uh, and I, in the end, that's the easiest way. It's a lot easier just to forward that email to her than to have a hard copy and have to try to... Not, like I, said, I don't know none of this stuff. Scan it into the computer and then make an attachment and then send it. But So that makes it a little bit easier going that way. It rains again here tonight. So I gotta make a run up the climber and get a silo bag here yet. Because if I can get this corn in here by Thursday or Friday, then I'm gonna, I should be chopping out. My orchard grass is heading out. It's not gonna be the best to feed, but it's still gonna be better than what I had last year, and it's gonna be better than what I've had the last couple of years. So I really don't care. The only difference is I'll end up maybe have to buy a little more grain to compensate for what it's losing, so. 
But I guess I've rambled too long here now. I wasn't going to make it this long. But thanks for watching. And I'll catch up with you later. And hopefully I'm on the right track. Might be too little too late, but we're heading there.